Senator Obama today decided to forego the public financing system in the general election. What that means is that he will not take the about 84 to 85 million dollars that would become available to him in the general election for the, uh, the two months before the, uh, the, the fall election. He's shown himself to be a record-breaking fundraiser. He has more than 1.5 million donors out there who are giving to his campaign in, in record amounts. So what they have created is their own version of a public finance system because they have so many donors. 1.5 million donors, many of them donating in small dollar amounts, not the big $2,300 or $4,600 donations that, uh, that large contributors give. Granted, he has those, but his, his percentage of, of small donors uh, far exceeds those of any of the other candidates that have been in this, in this presidential campaign. He, he is arguing that he has access to a, to a donor pool that is, that is as, as democratic as anything that the public financing system would provide. This is not a surprise that they did this. And, and they have known for months that they would take a hit on this decision, but that it would be a short-lived hit. The public has very, very little interest on the issue of campaign <coughs> finance. Uh, it is, it is, it, it's money, and as far as the public is concerned, uh, candidates, candidates do raise money, they do spend money, they think it's obscene, but beyond that, they believe everybody does it. So I think the Obama campaign clearly feels that, uh, that while they'll take a hit on this, it'll be short-lived.